Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back to watch another episode of Beef. This is episode three. It's called I Am Inhabited by a Cry, I think. I don't know. But I am very much enjoying Beef so far, and I'm excited to jump into the next episode. We left off last time uh, with our mans going up to her house, I believe, with a hammer after she uh, painted uh, his truck <laughs> saying that he's poor and stuff. Uh, so maybe he's gonna go break up her, her newly renovated house. Um, and we're gonna see where it leads. Uh, before we jump into it though, if you end up enjoying this reaction, please leave a like on the video, it means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you wanna see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon. That would mean the world as well. That's linked in the description down below. Uh, but other than that, let's jump into episode three of Beef. I don't understand why she was so angry. No, and like I said, that was totally out of line. Honestly? I can't even enjoy anything vanilla since her comments. Wow. But it won't happen again. She's trying to make peace. I found ways to manage my stress. Uh, what have you found works for you? I don't know if you have. <laughs> Violence. <laughs> You know, my dad held a lot in. Chinese guy from the Midwest. I mean, communication wasn't his forte. Just bottle up everything inside until it just exploded out at once. Just like him. It's hard to admit, but I think that growing up with my parents taught me to repress all my feelings. That might be true. That might be true, but... Amy. It's very self-aware. Thank you. It's very rehearsed. I'm excited to dig into that. But acknowledging this is just the first step. She's like, excuse me. <laughs> Thought that was the whole thing. Right. Yeah, you can't just rehearse the 30 second thing. Neural pathways that my parents did in me. You gonna set her car on fire? But I don't want to live like that anymore. Don't stand too close. Don't stand too close to that. Oh, there's a child I in that car. I'm not in, but I'm not anymore. I know it's gonna take a lot of work, but I really think this is the start of a new that chapter. That would have been family. murder. Yeah, what are you doing? He almost killed a child. I feel like that you have to reevaluate your entire life. That's got to be a come to Jesus moment when you realize you almost just burned a kid to death. Yo, Paul, I need to talk to you, dude. Turn that down. Paul, turn that down. You can't turn it down. You have to turn it Paul, off. Turn that shit off, dude. I almost lit a baby on fire. Look at that stupid shit. Try it. Mom. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, have a group hug and take a family selfie. Oh, good call, babe. Lighting's great right now. I know. I would, I would not. Please. This man's gonna see your notifications. You gotta put that on silent. Junie. Gosh, I, I love what you painted, honey. This is so good. It sucks. For the cross, we thank you for Jesus. Lord Father God, we come to you. Come, Master Catholic. Rad. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> I actually really enjoy this song. By the way. Jesus is calling. This is a good song. People watching this that don't know I'm Christian are learning stuff today. <laughs> this is one of my favorite worship songs. Come to the altar. The father's arms are open wide. Oh, he's trying to make himself cry. 
Or maybe he actually... I want to believe he actually feels this. I've been there. I've been there, brother. I've been there. Here in the West, it's steel points, steel points, numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely prefer how they do business. No, you don't. <laughs> you like the numbers. We still need to get to know each other as humans. Make sure we both feel good about this, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Nah, she just wants the deal to be done. Donuts. Best part about church. Just kidding. How are you feeling? You doing okay? Yeah, I, I think I just... He needed, just a needed a positive emotional release. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't know what that was about. Form. Right. Yeah, okay. Edwin, go get the form. <laughs> I can do a form. <laughs> you need to get a pen, too. You guys got Friday Night Basketball? We're good. So... Uh, competition. Just give me the money, lady. Look, we can do date night anytime. And we can do our intimacy exercise later. Yo, she's probably got cameras with sound in her house. She's going to hear you saying these things. This bitch is wild. George, she has this room full of, like, actual crowns. Yo, you need to stop talking. No. You're gonna talk to too loud away. saying oh, some of this I stuff. Photo at the dinner. Don't you put it on. What are you I've doing? Hold on, let me set. Oh shit. Oh. I was just saving the caption. These. <laughs> That's not good. You can fix that. Thank you, brother. So glad you joined our congregation. <laughs> ben, I can tell when you're acting not genuine. Is it still... Uh, crooked? A little crooked? Just a little. They, they're, both those guys have just this sense of competition about each other. No way. No way. Hello. I hate having to put her feelings before mine all the time. Old people are stupid like that. <laughs> yep. Facts. What else do you hate? Road rage recipients. I hate pretending that I don't hate things. Facts. Facts. <laughs> you know, this might sound sort of... Uh, Actually, I don't care how it sounds. What is he gonna say? I know we've been only DMing for a couple days, but I feel like I've been DMing you my whole life. <laughs> been DMing you my whole life. It's like I actually felt God's presence. Well, Jesus did all those nice things. Look what they did to him. Dude, you gotta relax, man. You just gotta let this chair do its thing. Kinda. <laughs> And uh, I filed those incorporation papers under my name. Took that shit off your plate. Ah, uh, what's the point of all this anyway? Man, I like always do the right thing. And like, look where it's gotten me. It's under his name means he gets the money. Yeah, see, that's your problem, man. You're too nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't describe him that way. You cheating on your wife? At least emotionally. How much longer do we have? 22 minutes. Christ. 22 minutes? Dude. It's about the Mia photo. Yeah, yeah. Babe, I swear there was nothing to it. No, George M. Brother, you screenshot and pics of another lady's Instagram showing off her titties. 
you need to reevaluate your life. It feels like the the ground. But like um What does that mean? <laughs> it never goes away. The ground, but in your heart? But sometimes it feels like if I tell you things, you're just... Smile more. You're not gonna understand. If you try hard enough, you'll be happy. I know a lot of people who battled depression and won. No, you it's don't... Not... That's not a thing you win. <laughs> it's a... It's an everyday battle. And I get down to... That's not the same thing. <laughs> you done screwed up, George. Well, the down payment would be 100000 but you'd also need to demonstrate a consistent income and a healthy checking balance. Now, on the track you're on, we could maybe consider you in, uh, I don't know, seven years? Seven years? Christ. Look, if you can come up with the down payment, then maybe this is a conversation that we can have. Okay, no, I understand. Um... Actually, while I have you, mm -hmm. my church was looking to do some repairs. Would they be able to get a loan? That's dangerous. Jordan, this isn't what we discussed, okay? I, I had no intention of staying on. I know, I know, I know. But honey, you are the face of the brand. Ah. <sighs> I mean... Yeah, they want her to stay an additional five years? Amy, listen to me. Withholding equity until that five years is complete? It's, That's it's suspect. Want. How much will the materials cost? Um, you know, if I was guessing 100K, 120K, give or take. And what's the cost of your labor? Uh, uh, I, I'd be doing this pro bono for the church. An angel. Should not have said pro bono. Oh, that's don't steal money from this church to buy land. Oh. And then maybe uh, end with oceans. Guys. Oh, don't go oceans. And remember, we have practice at seven. Ocean sucks. Then yeah, I mean a nice offer should be considered if that's you know what you're. Oh, no, no, no. Go stop the back. Oh, sure. Thanks. So what is he doing here? How did he know that she works here? Does a Kayla Lexington work here? No. No. No, I've never heard of her. Have a great day. Amy, you probably want to take a look at these defenses. No! Kayla, come on. What? Sir, you have to leave. Is this your asshole boss? Oh! Um, so, you're catfishing me? No. It... Yes. I did really like talking to you, though. I did. You know, you've... you're gonna make someone very happy one day. He's in love. And Kayla, with her perky tits and her taut ass, she's probably sobbing. Oh. Feel the fear of Dude. Uncertainty <laughs> clear. Dude. I still have to ask myself how much I let the fear. Come on, brother. That was a bold move, little man. Brings up me there. It's a very interesting episode. Okay, okay. It's such an interesting episode. <laughs> um, I feel like two big developments happened. One, Amy came clean to Paul about the fact that he was cat she was catfishing him, and then he kissed her anyway. It's like, dude. What's gonna be the development for that? 
<laughs> like, is she gonna actually uh, start cheating with him? I mean, it's like mutual cheating because her husband is, I mean, he, he's not like technic. I mean, he's not like, I don't know how to describe it. He's not actually cheating like emotionally. Well, he's cheating emotionally, definitely. Uh, but he's not like physically doing stuff with uh, Mia or whatever her name it actually is. Mia, Kayla, who cares what her name is. Um, he's not, as far as we know, he's not actually doing anything with her, but he's definitely like emotionally cheating on his wife because he's, uh, you know, saving pictures of her employee and whacking it to them in his free time, <laughs> you know? If you're gonna whack it, whack it to your wife at least, man, come on. <laughs> Um, and he screwed up by sending her a, that picture, the screw, which he's like, send me a screenshot of, of whatever thing that our kid did or whatever. I don't know. Um, and he sends her that picture. It's like, dude, how does that not, how do you not immediately like go to your counselor, like your marriage counselor and be like, Hey, this dude is actively like philandering behind my back. <laughs> like that's tough but also it's not like she can it's not like she has a, a right either to be upset about it because she's actively doing that as well like granted her her reasons for doing it started a little more deviously like it wasn't necessarily a, a, che a cheating action if that makes sense like she did it out of revenge but then that revenge became the the separate relationship that, th that she's cheating with and now that has possibly progressed to another level of like could actually go somewhere <laughs> like i don't know like this man likes talking to her so much that he was aware that he got catfished and was still like still so into her that he kissed her what is her what is her next steps there i'm very very curious and then Danny, 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 Danny. Um, he had a very interesting episode filled with a roller coaster of of emotions and plans and such. You know, he goes to this. You know, he he starts off in just this place of just like emotional distraughtness. I don't know. He's just like hating life. He's just so unhappy. And so he goes, he goes to check out this church because uh, he's like, look at these stupid people on the brochure. They're so happy. <laughs> like, why can't I have that happiness? And so he goes to check it out and ends up just like bawling his eyes out. At first, I wasn't sure if he was like doing it genuinely. Like, I thought maybe he looked over and saw that girl crying and was like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing here and was just kind of trying to like fit in so to speak but then he was like actually bawling so i was like oh damn maybe this is like genuine <laughs> um and so i don't know what it is whether it's it was him actually you know feeling the presence of the holy spirit or if uh maybe just being in an environment of emotional release um made him feel uh like he could emotionally re release i don't know Either way, it was very, very interesting to watch. Loved the song they chose as a real good song. If you didn't know this about me, I am a Christian man. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so that's actually one of my favorite worship songs. Uh, I really, really dig that song a lot, quite a bit, actually. Um, so if I was singing along and knew all the words, that's now you know why. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, him and this church is going to be a very interesting development because simultaneously he's going there to check it out and like partly be genuine with it but then he's also in this like mini competition with edwin played by uh ben <laughs> from umbrella academy um that's not his actual name his, he has an actual actor name um but he, he plays ben in the umbrella academy um they're like in an unspoken competition over edwin's wife <laughs> kind of because uh, she, Danny was her first, like, back in the day. And she seems to be, like, still into him, if that makes sense. Like, she's very excited by the fact that he's there. She's, like, <laughs> like 
Edwin, go get the go go get the pamphlet <laughs> or the or the paper or whatever. Like she wants to see more of him at the church, which is dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous. Uh, the route that that I can see that going down from a storytelling perspective, like what might happen. But then even more dangerous is the fact that he calls this bank. He can't get a loan for or a mortgage for the land and, and the house that would be built upon the on the land um and the banker is like hey if you can come up with a hundred k down payment we could talk about it right we could we could see about getting a loan and he is i believe planning to like defraud this church like he at, at the very least probably lied to the pastor about how much um like how much all this stuff would actually cost right you know, maybe he does end up doing a lot of this work pro bono. I don't know, but he's gonna charge this church like a hundred to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars for stuff that definitely is not gonna cost that much, and he's gonna use that hundred k to. He's either gonna use that directly to to get a mortgage, or he's gonna use that hundred k to get more money with his their cousin or whatever the shady guy. Um, and so he's playing a very, very dangerous game. Um, and if if this church finds out what he's doing, that's going to be rough, first of all. Um, but second of all, like, that's like a whole-ass crime. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real thing that he would go to prison for. Like, that's... Uh, that's... That's crazy. Because, yeah, they'd be getting a loan for, like, 100 k And paying him that hundred thousand and if i mean i guess that's tough yeah because they would they would pay him all, pretty much all the money up front right and then they'd slowly start paying off the loan with with whatever funds they continue to get as a church um and he would provide some <laughs> some sort of service some pro bono stuff but like He's not going to be able to provide $100,000 worth of renovations to this church. I mean, and they're, well, they're in California. Maybe 100 k in California doesn't go that far <laughs> in terms of renovations. I'm surprised he can get the land for 100 k That's crazy because that was a dope view. That was a dope view. That house, if you built a whole house there, that's like a $6 million home on that hill. <laughs> How's he going to get that land? Uh, well, I guess the down payment's 100k. So just the land rights alone for that spot's 500,000, right? Like, am I am I doing that math right? 20% is 100k. 10% is 50k. 5% is 25k. So 125 times four. Yeah, 500k for the for the land alone. And then he's got to build a whole house there. That's wild pricing. I don't know how California works. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, I think that's weirdly like, like even introducing the whole like Amy and Paul and the precariousness of, of that situation. I feel like this episode just introduced a whole separate level <laughs> of like walking a tightrope uh, anxiety inducing type stuff. I mean, I didn't, oh, I didn't even talk about the fact that he almost murdered a kid earlier in the episode. Like, dude, he was going to set her car on fire until he realized that there was a child inside it. That's life in prison, buddy. <laughs> like, you, and now you're just, like, immediately going to fraud. Like, that's, he is, he is playing a dangerous game. And, uh, like, I feel like this show is going to get my heart pumping. Like, this is going to be, like, uh, certain episodes of euphoria anxiety inducing um <laughs> i just don't know i don't know how how i'm gonna handle it but i'm i'm very excited to continue and see where it goes uh definitely let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions if you enjoyed my reaction please leave a like on the video it means a ton to me it helps my channel grow uh, if you're new here or you find yourself coming back often hit subscribe ring the bell so you're notified when i upload and then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon. That would mean the world as well. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.